welcome back. As you can see, I did a quick first spray. This is the one that I didn't really like and I ended up doing over, but uh, it'll give you an idea of why I did. You can see the gouges in the sides and the coverage wasn't very clean. But anyways, onto the resin. Uh, first things first, that's an epoxy. It's a plastic bonding one. And I placed it into a plastic bag. That way I'd have more control over how much came out and the fine point really helped. So I just put it in, into the corner, mixed it up with my hands there. And then I took some scissors and snipped the tip. After that, pouring it was fairly uh, straightforward. You just squeeze a little bit. Uh, my recommendation first would be don't fill it up as much as I did because you it does have a very quick set time. So I ran into the problem of it actually set inside the bag and also since it is a chemical it got very hot, like surprisingly hot and to the point where I had to put it down before I was finished the first uh, quick little run. Second, I put the tape on the back the masking tape to, uh, yeah, there it's getting a little thick already. I put the tape on the back and filled from the front. And there's a huge issue where you can get a drip and that'll tear your paint off if it sticks hard enough. It came off fairly easily for me, but uh, you end up having a lot of trouble getting the fill in properly. What I would do if I was to do this again would be to tape the front and fill in at the back because you end up having a, not, a nice flat surface on the on the front where you need it and uh, then you just spray over top of it later. That goes along with the drilling process I mentioned in the previous video where instead of using the uh, the design and the drilling to make your shape you just use a simple spray pattern but doing it in layers like this is not preferred because you end up having to sand a lot off and the epoxy is a lot harder than the plastic so sanding it is a very difficult process and you end up having a really lumpy surface and that's one of the reasons I took so long to get the second coat of paint on because it took a long time to get the surface prepared to the point I was happy with it and it still wasn't good enough so as I said, just do the one big hole, fill the entire thing with epoxy, and uh, then you'll have a perfectly smooth surface to work with. If you can, use a single piece of tape, masking tape, thick masking tape, or uh, even packing tape would probably work fairly well. And you'll get no overlay between the pieces of tape. There's that, that just the, the thickness of the tape is enough to cause an edge, and that edge is really difficult to sand down. Ultimately though, uh, it came out nice and clear, uh, looked great. I would like to try a few things on future projects, maybe coloring the epoxy, put a little bit of blue or red in, might turn out well. Or maybe there's another type of filler that can be used, clear filler, that comes colored or can be colored easily. So if anybody has any ideas, feel free to send them to me. Uh, yeah, so finish watching the video and we'll see you next time. This build log features music performed by Tristan Gertsen. And remember, Tech and Cypher is your source for mods, knowledge, and news. So hit that follow button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.